Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am so happy to be back in my new room. That's right, my room is almost done, but it's done enough for me to get back down here and be making some soap. It has been six weeks, guys, since I've been making anything. So guys, to break in my new room with making soap, I decided I needed to break in my ugh, new soap mold. That's right guys, this bad boy is a Winston and Walter Busy Bee soap mold. So after my festival, I had decided I needed to do a bit uh, larger productions for some of these bigger shows that I go to. I did contact Workshop Heritage. I do like those soap molds very much. I have nothing against them. Customer service, it doesn't seem to be where I would like it because they basically ignored me. <laughs> I, basically, I asked them if they had any plans of bringing in a mid-range mold. They go from, I think this one is considered like a 10 or 12, to like a 25 pound mold. And I just wanted something in the middle. And they just, they ghosted me. They never got back with me. So that's twice that I've gotten a hold of that company or tried to reach that company. And they either responded in a way that I didn't appreciate or they ignored me completely. But... All that being said, I do like the products. I just think their customer service needs a little help. So I did order the Winston & Walter Busy Bee and I ordered the loaf mold as well, the tall and skinny loaf. I did have a question or a concern with that and the owner called me. I mean, she called me. It was awesome. She, we had a nice long chat and she told me a little bit of her backstory and answered my concerns and happy customer guys. <laughs> And she didn't, she didn't badmouth uh, that Workshop Heritage at all. She actually said they were a really good mold and that she used to use them. And I appreciated that too, that she wasn't like badmouthing another company. Anyway, I'm, I'm ripping into it. I, I took them out of the exterior boxes and just brought them down so they're both still in their cellophane. So I'm sure I'll be needing to adjust my lighting again. I finally got it right before I tore the room apart. And I think it might be a little too bright and too much glare. So I may need to work on that a little bit. And also my microphone is on my camera. So it's a little further away than it normally is. But I lost in the moving everything out of here, I lost my connector to my, uh, to take my microphone and put it above me, if that makes sense. I have this gray cord that I can't find. I don't know where it went. I like this sliding lid, that's nice. Oh, this isn't too big. This isn't scary. It's a little scary. Okay, it's a bit scary. And July sent me a nice little thank you. First impressions, wow, this is nice. This is like so more solid than I expected. I like the lines going across here, which means that this is my long bars, right? The only thing I, I'm not sure about, this is quite tall and I can kind of see where that might get in my way with putting decorations on the sides. I don't know if it will. And look how white this is <laughs> compared to my other molds. <laughs> They're kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I'm gonna rinse this off really well. Look how that stands up almost by itself. That's kind of crazy. That is a heavy piece of silicone. So let's talk about what I'm doing today. I'm gonna to go ahead and make a large batch of The Perfect Man. Uh, not my favorite scent, guys, but I can't deny that it does sell <laughs> very well. So I'm making it. <laughs> one of the, one, on one of my videos, I said I would never make it again, and this is like the fourth time I've made it. <laughs> Customers speak louder than I do. But for my first time using this mold, I am gonna keep it really simple. I wanna make sure that my batch size is where I want it, and I'm, I'm not gonna just stress myself over trying to make this like super, super, like, you know, I don't know, pretty <laughs> or anything like that. I have my kaolin clay in with my oils. This is my light water. I have a little uh, charcoal, activated charcoal. I have some Magic Blue Mica from Micahs and More, and I have Cocoa Brown from Micahs and More over here. So what I think I'm gonna do is just a, a simple in the pot swirl. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lye water in here and let's give her a go, guys.
I'm gonna add my goat smoke in here. I buy my goat milk from a friend that has goats and he freezes it and just whenever I'm ready for it, I will let him know. Let's see if I can pour this off without making a huge mess. Cause it's gonna be heavy. Oh, yep, it's heavy. I'm not gonna be adding any TD to this. I'm just leaving this its natural color. And I'm purposely not pulling off very much for my colors. I just feel like I usually pull too much. Like I would normally fill these way up. And then I think that my, it's too busy. Some of my soaps are just a little too busy for um, the design to really be everything I want it to be. My charcoal has a ton of air bubbles in it. Just a ton. I'm going to let them thicken up a bit, guys. This is still pretty fluid. So I'm going to just keep stirring. And once they are at a little bit of a, a light to medium trace, then I'll do my in the pot swirl. Well, it didn't take very long. I turned my back for a second and it's a little thicker than I expected it to be for no longer than I was gone but it's still gonna work. So if you can see how thick it is, it's stirring up and loosening up just a bit though, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. Oops, I don't like the messiest thing in the world. I have to relearn how much soap to leave for the top, don't I? Here we go, first pour. Oh. oh, look at those bubbles. I'm sorry, Lisa. You probably think I don't learn anything from you. <laughs> So when we put this countertop back in here, just to let you know, my husband shored it up a bit, so it is nice and sturdy now, and I can bang on it. So it feels a little high. I normally, in my other soap mold, have a little bit more space from the top of the, the silicone to the top of the mold. Let me see if I wanna do this. I thought about doing the spoon texture, but I really wanna kind of just keep this 
pretty flat this time because I want to compare it to my other bar. First one's done, guys. Actually, I think this scent is growing on me. It's not as offensive as it first felt to me, but I don't put it in at 5% either. I, I go down to like four <laughs> to make it <laughs> something I could handle. I am not gonna put this in my oven. I, it's just, there's no way I'm gonna be carrying this big heavy thing upstairs. So I'm gonna put it on my back counter and just cover it with some blankets. Okay, let's get this unmolded. Ooh, look how pretty that looks. Okay, so I think both of these come off. I don't know that it's necessary to bring them both off though. Let's just, oh, it's quite a bit heavier than my normal. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I think I've seen most people just like literally put it upside down. This is a thick, thick liner. Okay. I see. This is the way I should do it. Lovely. All right. Now, which way was which? <laughs> which way is which, guys? I forget. Um, I don't want to cut it long. If I get my ruler out, let me hang on just a second. One of these is ten and a half, and one of them is like that's ten and a half. And one's 10. <laughs> so I want heavens, guys. I gotta figure this out. I want my bars to be. On the tin one. I'm so confused. Which way do I cut it? This is 10 and a half. And this is 10. So my loaves are 10 because they're two and a half each. So that would be four loaves of 10. Right? <laughs> right? So I want to cut it. Why is this so hard for me? So this is my loaf right here. Right here. That's 10 inches. Two and a half. Two and a half is five. Two and a half more is seven and a half. Two and a half more is 10. So I'm going to cut it like this. I'm just going to go. Uh, I wasn't even going to think about it anymore. Is this how I had it? Yes, this is how I'm, I'm cutting it. I'm just doing it. I did it right. <laughs> Oh, that was nerve wracking. I'm going to have to figure out a way to, to know which way I'm cutting it. They're only half an inch difference. Uh, so it's not an obvious like way. If that 
makes any sense whatsoever. I'm still going to have a couple of samples for each loaf, which makes me happy. Um, they're maybe just a little bit thinner than my other samples usually are. I had to go steam my soap. All right, let's look at the inside. It's definitely, I don't remember, does it discolor? You, I've made it four times this year. You'd think I'd know if it was discoloring. But guys, I just remembered, or it's not like I just remembered, but I just realized I made this soap <laughs> and two other batches and my soap mold is not ready to have soap in it. <laughs> it's out there. I wanted to sand it down and clean it up really well before I put any more soap in it. So apparently, look, that's just kind of weird looking. Apparently, I am going to be very soon sanding my soap mold. Not my soap mold. I keep saying soap mold. It's my soap uh, drying rack. Look, that's kind of cool looking. At, look at all those ridges. Do you see that? There are some lots of movement in these. I purposely left it at one end of the mold as well. I don't think I, when I was pouring it, I was pouring it like I would normally. I kind of let it all flow from one end and I just wanted to see. Look at that. It looks cool. I mean, it looks really almost like a, like a watercolor where they're just kind of feathered out. All the colors are just kind of feathered. It kind of looks like that kind of painting. Andy would know what I'm trying to say. It looks kind of neat on this end. The other end is a little boring. So there you go. This one's kind of muddied. All right, guys. Perfect man. Another one is in the books. Done. <laughs> I know. I it, It's just not my favorite scent. And it is growing on me, though. I mean, I will say it is kind of growing on me. I've made it like four or five times now. <laughs> It is really popular. It is really popular. How cool does that look? Look at that feather. Isn't that neat? I think it's neat. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I love my mold. Let me just say, I love that mold. I made another soap today. I, did, I didn't tape it this time. Uh, I really do like that mold. I love it. It's, it's a nice quality. I like the company. I'm just really, really, really pleased with everything. That, that, liner is just as thick as could be so it's pretty sturdy uh i have some thoughts on what i'm gonna do to create a warm uh environment in here for me to put my soap molds in i have ideas so when, maybe when i do my room tour when we get the other part of the basement done i'll give you uh i'll share with you what i'm doing if it works. I hope it works. I think it will. So stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, give me a like if you liked the video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. That's okay. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.